How to create a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about the Ansible module VMware underscore guest. The full name is community.vmware.com dot vmware underscore guest, which means that is part of a collection or module to interact with VMware community supported. It's a module pretty stable and out for years. It manages virtual machine in vCenter and vSphere cluster. The VMware Underscore guest Ansible module has a very long list of parameters to customize all your need to create a VMware vSphere virtual machine. This is the full list in the documentation and as you can see there is a wall of text. Yes, there are so many parameters and examples as well. So go directly to the manual because for sure it will cover your use case. I'm going to simplify a little bit for the demo. How to create a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine named MyVM with the following resources. One CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, 10 gigabyte of storage, thin provision, in the data store, data store one, network card name VM network time VM XNet three. Are you excited? Let's move it on. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one Ansible playbook to create a VM on VMware. First of all, let's begin our play with a name create VM demo that is going to be executed on host localhost then uh, let me set also become to false because uh, we don't need a privilege escalation just a normal user and gather facts to false because we don't need the system information from the target host uh, let me include some variable with a pre-task include underscore vars from the file vars.yml this is an auxiliary file that I'm using to store in some uh, variable that I'm using in the Ansible playbook. One task to create actually the VM folder using community.vmware.vcenter underscore folder. Okay, so now let's connect to the VMware infrastructure. First of all, we need the host name. In my case, I'm going to save in a variable. The variable name is vcenter underscore hostname and with a parenthesis I'm referring to the value of the variable. Then uh, I need a username and password, of course, just some credential. So first uh, I'm storing username under vcenter underscore username and password under the same stuff under vcenter underscore password. Uh, let me also set uh, the validation of a certificate. This is SSL stuff. Same story, I'm setting this uh, via variable vCenter underscore validate cert. Basically, I'm using a lot of variable. This gives me a lot of flexibility. So what else we need? The data center underscore name. This is physically the storage path on the VMware infrastructure. I'm using another variable as well, vcenter underscore data center. And now we are going to have some fun. Finally, the folder name. <laughs> Yay! So I'm using vcenter underscore destination underscore folder. These are only internal name, so you can use whatever you want but I prefer to use a descriptive name, so it's easy to troubleshoot, easy to remember. Okay, now the folder underscore type in my case is VM, because I'm going to store a virtual machine inside. 
and the state must be present. So finally, with all this uh, code, we create a folder. Yay! Inside the VMware infrastructure, in the core data center, performing the login, everything. Okay, now let's create a virtual machine using community.vmware.vmware underscore guest. Okay, so we need to use uh, the same authentication as before, so let me copy and paste all these parameters hostname, username, password, validate cert, and data center name? Yes, of course. So let me grab it, copy and paste, so we can save some time. Okay, now the meaty part. Name is the virtual machine name, in my case, will be my VM but I'm going to set via variable. Okay, uh, folder is exactly the folder that we just created before. So let me set it up. So vCenter destination underscore folder. Finally, one time the completion was successful. Okay, then the state of VM, usually the virtual machine is power on, but I could define different status just in case. Okay, mm, the guest ID is the type of machine, you know, like a Windows machine, Linux machine, uh, Mac OS, and the exact operating system. I'm going to set a variable as well. Cluster is the cluster of execution. vCenter underscore cluster. Yeah, a lot of variables. Okay, now something interesting, the hardware definition. Okay, let's start with the disk size underscore gigabyte then uh, we need to decide uh, so this is basically a number like 10 gigabyte 20 gigabyte whatever and the type uh, you need to choose between thin and thick allocation if you are familiar with vmware you already know what does it mean basically if the space must be pre-allocated or dynamically allocated okay and the data store where to claim the space. These are normal parameter that uh, is in the wizard when you set up a virtual machine. Okay, now some hardware resources like for example the RAM memory. Okay, this is specified by megabyte, so memory underscore megabyte. And here let's define a number like 1024, for example, for one gigabyte and uh, so on and so forth. What else do we need in our machine? Okay, after the RAM definition, we need uh, the CPUs, so num underscore CPUs. One, two, and, and counting. Minimum one, okay. Then the SCSI must be defined so SCSI must be, okay, another variable. I'm using the para-virtualized uh, SCSI definition, but will be easy to customize if we set it up to a variable. Okay, network card. Okay, first uh, let's define a name for the network card. Just in case I'm using VM, and the VM network and the type of, of device in my case, VX, VMX, oh, okay, let's, let's see in the variable part. Okay, everything is set it up in my Ansible playbook. As you can see, it seems very long, but by real, is everything configurable via variable. So it looks like long, but if you think now we can execute one Ansible code and automate all the wizard that we did manually usually, in VMware. Now let's move it on to the variable part. All the variable was defined in the vars.yml file. This is a separate file and I think it's more convenient to have like this. So I could include in as many Ansible playbook as I want. So the vCenter part uh, was already defined in a previous lesson, so we need only to add the VM virtual machine specific setting. So VM underscore name, my VM, VM guest ID, in my case CentOS 64-bit guest, 
and the size of a disk gigabyte so let's start with 10 you can put whatever number makes you convenient but 10 gigabyte for a linux machine is a is a, the minimum allowed the disk type is a thin allocation you can switch to thick just in case let me set also the data store name in my case uh, will be data store dash one uh, what are the other parameter well we need to define the hardware like the ram megabyte so 1024 yes is power 2 no problem you have a lot of calculator online the number of cpus in my case the minimum is one then the scasi adapter i'm using the para virtualized customize as you wish Uh, what else? Uh, well, uh, the network. Uh, so we need to set a network name, a VM network, and the network type uh, must be VMN VMX Net Free. I can do it. Yes, VMX Net Free. Yay! Okay, folder where to store all my virtual machine stuff. So vCenter destination folder will be my vm same name on my virtual machine and vm underscore state i would like to have a machine powered off and that's it as you can see i could easily customize my guest virtual machine just changing setting here it's great and isn't Welcome to my terminal. Now let's execute all this code together. So let me connect to my Ansible controller with a devops at demoexample.com. Here I have a VMware folder and under this folder I have all the files that we coded together. Okay, so let me execute my Ansible playbook with inventory inside the inventory there is only localhost so nothing fancy and vm underscore create the execution actually is very fast so first is connecting to the vmware infrastructure via api creating the folder where to store the virtual machine and once the folder is created ansible is able to create the virtual machine definition with all the settings that we did together so my vm 10 gigabyte of ram um, one cpu and all this setting is going to take some take a while because uh, behind the scene uh, it, vmware infrastructure is doing all the fun and after this we are expecting one change of status in our ansible recap so let's wait some uh, seconds more the execution actually this is the real time on my machine uh, on uh, running vmware cluster and here we are we are we have a one change status which means some operation were performed on vmware via ansible and what happened if we run again the same exact command well Ansible has a property called hidden potency, which means that uh, is only verifying that uh, everything already exists and not doing anything on the target host. So I'm expecting only OK status, which means the virtual machine my VM is currently already created. So just a second is verifying first the folder definition and I'm expecting one OK as well here. Yes, done. And now also on the virtual machine status. So just a second and we are going to have a play recap with OK status. Can you imagine how Fun is to automate VMware infrastructure with Ansible. Yay, we have OK, great. Now you know how to create a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you are so excited to automate more and more things of your VMware infrastructure with Ansible. See us on the next next lesson and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.